Okay, um, so Papa Gates, talk to us. How does that, how did that come about? Why are you known as Papa Gates? Papa Gates, uh, my son is the lead guitar player for Avenged Sevenfold. Yes. Very, very famous, successful band. They play all over the world, uh, do arenas, 10,000 seats, they're giant. Yeah. And my son's name, they all have names. Okay. Well, stage names. So my son's name is Sinister Gates. And so, because I'm his dad, and they, and they let me play on some of the records, which is nice of them. I get to play on the platinum records, so yes, they, yes. they call me Papa Gates. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. And you, you, you've been playing guitar for a long time? <laughs> yeah, longer than I care to admit. Like okay. 40 years. 40? 40. Okay, I understand you started playing when you were about five? Uh, I wish. That would make me 45. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just about. Something like that. Honestly. Okay. And, 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 and what type of music did you do? Plastic Mind? Uh, what kind of music did you do at such a young age? Uh, it was, uh, that was the 60s. So it was, you know, the, the usual. The, uh, I listened to a lot of Beatles. Rolling Stones, I listened to a lot of Motown, okay. so there was a little mixture of everything there. You know? Okay, and, and do you specialize in a specific type of guitar, bass, rhythm, lead? Mostly lead guitar, that's what I always did. Mostly lead guitar. Yeah, I do a little bit of everything, but, but that's really what I do. Okay, and, and I understand that um, in the late 90s you did some film and television scoring. Was that guitar work or overall production? Um, both. I've done a lot of uh, session work uh, for different television shows and movies. But I did uh, this movie called The Granny, uh, Payback. There's three or four movies that I, that I actually did the score. The whole entire score. score. The entire score, yeah. So you compose as well? Compose as well, yes. Wow, interesting. Very, very interesting. So, how did the connection happened between yourself and Jeff. With him being a comedy comedian and you being from the world of music. I was just starting to get into comedy. Um, about five years ago I started. And I had some comedy songs. And so I just, I'd only been on stage as a comedian maybe twice, just a couple of times. And uh, Jeff was looking for somebody to write songs for his puppets, for his characters, yes. for a Christmas show. And so he asked me if I would uh, come on stage with him, record one song, uh, Jingle Bombs, yes, yes, yes. went on YouTube. Yes. And that was it. And maybe I would write a couple of songs for his show. It was just temporary. It was supposed to just be that. And so we, I went on stage, we filmed Jingle Bombs. He put it on YouTube, and I think it got uh, 20 million hits in a week wow. on YouTube and so he called me and said you're not going anywhere I need you to go on the road with me because I have to do jingle bombs every night yes. and so we started working on songs for the Christmas show and working on, on bits That's really and I stayed with him almost four years so you wrote the, the road kill Christmas and you know, wrote road kill Christmas that all the, the whole all the Christmas stuff yeah. you, you you wrote that I wrote all that yeah. okay so so I understand you recorded an album um, with Jeff Dunham's special business, so all those songs were on, on that actual album? Yes.